This is the MX Linux Fluxbox desktop with the menu launcher which is available uh, with it and three buttons one for the setting one for the file manager one for the browser and another one at the end for the logout this has also a dock with all the applications that you need with also an application launcher that you can utilize to speed your work let us see if we can mimic or make a beautiful uh, Fluxbox desktop also on uh, Antix So we start from the login screen of Antix. We make sure that the session type is ZZZ-Fluxbox and we press enter. So this is the default Fluxbox Antix out of the box. We have this panel which is uh, not, uh, not the prettiest. We have the conky, we don't have here any docs or any search and we don't have any menu here. So first of all, we'll have to remove this menu, this panel, and we will replace it with another panel with all the options and the settings that we need. So first of all, we go to the terminal. We update first. Okay. I already updated it so it will not take time. Okay, finished. Then I will install for the menu. I will install xce 4 app finder and tin2. Okay. Okay, and it's finished. After that, I need to go to our famous control center. We go to the edit Fluxbox settings. We go to start up, go down, replace exec here. Add at the end, the end sign, then sleep five seconds and then after 10 to so in the startup it will load Fluxbox after loading Fluxbox it will wait five seconds then it will put our famous panel the 10 to let me save it here go out go out here I, I right click Fluxbox settings I need to look at the toolbar and remove the visibility. So now we don't have it. Let us log out and come back. So log out. We will put antics. Okay, we wait five seconds. Okay, we got it. So this is our our tin two that we have now. So let us customize it. We have this button here, tin to settings. Directly it opens. I need first. I need first to add the app application finder. I look at it here from the launcher. I look for the application founder, put it here and get it up to the top. This is the tin to settings. Apply. So now I have here the application finder. Next, we need to add some buttons. We need to add a button for the control center. And we need to add a button for the file manager. And we need to add a button also here for the end here for the logout. So we need three buttons here. Let us start with the first one. 
So the first one is the control center. It needs an icon. Let us put an icon for it. look for an icon. Move this one. Get the file manager here. The icons are in user, share, icons, IC, O, oh. Papyrus Antix, 48x48, 48 application. We go for control center, C O N T R O L. I don't know why it's not getting it. Control center. So we go copy. So we paste. So we have the icon for the control center. I remove the enter from here. To launch it, if you if you left click it, the command is antix cc.sh. So we put apply, and you can see it put it here. We will move it later, but we have now an icon for the control center. Another icon that we want to have is for the file manager. So we need a file manager. We need a an icon. The icon, let's say. A typical file manager is Tunar. So let's go for Tunar. This is Tunar. We copy it and paste it here. And the file manager that we are using is ZZZFM. And we hit apply. So it put the other one and the third one is for the exit. The icon, I think something like application dash exit application. So this one, yes, we copy it, the icon paste and the command is desktop dash session dash exit here I have to remove this one I hit apply okay so now we have these we have these three this one I need to change it it is very uh, long so what I have to do is I have to go to clock here the capital A I put a small a and the capital B, I will put a small b. I'll hit apply. Okay, so it's getting smaller. For the other three here, what I can do is I'll go for the ta for the for the panels. So button one it will be next to the launcher. Button two will be next to the launcher, and button three will remain by itself. I'll hit apply. Okay, so we have these two here. This one, I may remove it. Or let me take it to the other side. Let me see in the launcher. Ah, this is this is considered in the launcher. We can remove it. We can remove it. Apply. Apply. So we have these. We still have to remove this workspace alpha. So to remove this work workspace alpha in the taskbar, show desktop name. Apply. Okay. If we want to look at uh, what we have done, so I'll keep this one. Maybe we'll need it because I removed the... So we have here, it is the application finder. Put it here. This is the control center. This is the file manager. And here when I click it, this is the exit.
one last trick to do here is let me come back to the properties if you notice button 3 button 3 if I left click it it will uh, get me desktop session dot exit this uh, log out menu if I right click on it I will tell it let it tend to conf so this configuration button that was here if I right click here it will directly put it so I will put apply here okay I will close and now when I press this one it will put the configuration if I left click it will put log out so this is a cool trick the last thing that we will, we, will, we will talk about is in the control center we'll put some shortcuts very important shortcuts we'll put them here in the keys and the shortcuts are we'll put the mod for D and mod for C and mod for E E is for execute ZZZFM so it's super E mod C it will execute antix cc.sh and mod D it will toggle CMD show desktop let me save these right click restart so now when I print win e it will open directly if I close this one win c it will open the control center and let me open one of them here and the other one and if I click win D it will minimize everything and win D again it will get them so these are the first video one of the series that's it for this uh, session the next session will go over the doc and other parameters that we'll, we will do to improve our Fluxbox Antics Fluxbox uh, to improve our Antics Fluxbox